welcome to Personal Development Mastery Podcast, episode 279, and this is another Snippets of Wisdom episode where I select my favorite, most insightful moments from previous episodes of the podcast. Today's Snippet of Wisdom comes from my conversation with Victoria Raider in episode 234. Victoria Raider is a possibility coach and best-selling author with a PhD in metaphysical studies. The conversation took place in June 2022 when we discussed uh, her book The 35 Universal Laws to Make Money Work for You. The snippet I chose to play for you today is about the universal law of service. We often use or hear the phrase to come from a place of service, but what exactly does that mean? And how is service related to money? I hope you find this snippet of wisdom as insightful as I have. Here it is. The phrase that caught my attention immediately when I read about it is that you say that genuine service is not necessarily what you do. It is what you feel when you do anything. And there was uh, some example that you were saying of um, when you're not feeling good by doing service and you feel resentment, you have not connected to really what you must connect uh, in terms of service. And talk to us about this love service and maybe why there is some misconception about what service is and why some people really are reluctant to serve in, in that sense. You know, there are a couple things that I would like to probably mention on that. And um, the first one is a, a conscious approach to service. And then I want to tap a little bit into our subconscious programming because that's my mm-hmm. bread and butter. I love living in the land of the subconscious programming, right? <laughs> so <laughs> so with the conscious programming, you know, uh, Rabbi Lupin is somebody that said that and it lingered with me ever since um, I have first heard him say that that is the service is the seeds of money. So you, you want to make more, you know, manage better, you serve more. And so that's a very important thing to be aware of. Now, in terms of the what service truly is, service is not doing things you don't want while resenting people you're doing them for. <laughs> that is serving a lifetime. That's a sentence. <laughs> That's a life (laughs) sentence. And this is that subconscious distinction. You know, when we have people that are sentenced to go to prison, they are serving a term. They're serving a term. And so common consciousness, which we're all a part of, is the energy that we share through thought exchange and you know, and, and you're a part of it. If you've ever thought of somebody and all of a sudden they called you out of a blue, it's because you tapped into that common consciousness. You freak, your frequency of need was respond, was immediately matched with their frequency. So we all are a part of it, whether we're aware of it or not. And so on that subconscious level, the service has become aligned with something that we are punished through. And that's where the reluctance is coming from. And, you know, we've got to heal that in ourselves. Now, if you go on a deep genetic level, you are now bringing the bondage and even slavery that if we have it in our genetic makeup, and so we resent service because we misunderstand it as the contract of giving up our free will. So when we understand that service is the gift of free will through joy, it becomes the most freeing example because you're making a choice to serve. And when I say it is not what you do, it is how you do, that approach changes your life to a life of bondage, which leads to debt financially as a subconscious mind, to a life of service, which leads to a life of prosperity. You know, Steve Jobs said um, something to the extent that do only what you love, kind of pursue to do only what you love. And it works great when you've made a whole bunch of millions and you're hitting the billionaire status. It really works great. But none of us makes it to that land of passion and love without first learning to love who we are and to love where we are and to love what we do. So the service looks like this. 
Love what you do now so that you can do what you love. And by that I mean when you're fixing meal for your family if you have one. When your friend calls you and needs something from you, pause. Can you do it through love? Because if you can't, don't force love. Just tell your friend no. It's a sacred no. It will keep your authentic um, being of who you are, your essence unmarred, and it will keep the energy exchange between the two of you, right? So learning the power of sacred no gives you framework for the sacred yes in your service. And very often when you listen to that inkling of no, something will come that your soul really wants to say yes to. You know, there is this new thing of say yes to every opportunity. I think it's insane. It's an insane advice. I mean, I just, what do you mean say yes to every opportunity? The second you say yes to an opportunity, you say no to everything and everyone else. So pause, see what's in your heart, not in your fearful head. What's in your heart? What is your heart telling you? If it tells you to lean into it, lean into it, learn to love it fully, serve from the place of love, and you will prosper. Thank you for listening. You can find the full conversation in episode 234. The link is in the show notes. If you got value from today's episode, please leave me an Apple Podcasts or Spotify review and share how Personal Development Mastery has made a difference to you today. Until next time, stand out, don't fit in.